Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the source transformation technique. Okay, let's see what is source transformation technique. Okay, your source transformation technique means simply replacing one source by an equivalent source is called a source transformation technique. Here, a practical voltage source can be transferred into an equivalent practical current source. And similarly, a practical current source into the practical voltage source. Simply, source transformation technique is nothing but replacing, uh, converting one source to other source is called as source transformation technique to simplify the circuit. Okay. Now, let's see how the how to convert voltage source into the current source. Okay. This is a voltage source. Okay. It is having one voltage source and one resistor and this is the one low resistance here. Okay. This circuit consists of there are two resistors and one voltage source. Here, if we observe the circuit, this dotted part, this dotted part, it is looking like a part practical voltage source. Okay. Now, we will convert this voltage source into current source. Okay. Here, if we see the circuit conversion, this is the current source here. Okay. This current source is having one current source that is connected in parallel with the resistor. This dotted part is looking like practical current source. First, we will convert the, the given circuit, this dotted part practical voltage source into practical current source. We will draw the diagram like this and remaining circuit is as it is. Just we will convert this practical voltage source into practical current source. We will draw the diagram again. Okay. And here we will uh, remove this dotted part and we will draw the practical current source diagram. The practical current source is having one source that is connect practical, uh, the sorry, the current source that is connected in parallel with the resistor. From year to year, there is no change in the resistor value. If you see here, 2 ohm, 2 ohm here, there is no change in the resistor value, but we have to find out the current. How we will find out the value of this current source here? By using the Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R. Okay, here I is equal to what is the V value 10 divided by what is the R value here 2. V value is 10 and R value is 2. So, I is equal to V by R, 2, 5 is 10. So, I is equal to 5 amperes. So, 5 amperes of current source here. So, like this, we will convert voltage source to current source. Here, there is not, uh, there is no difficulty here. Just you have to convert this practical voltage source into practical current source initially. And after that, we have to read uh, and draw the remaining diagram as it is here. Here, there is, we are not changing anything. After this dotted part, we are we are not changing anything. If there are 100 resistors up after this dotted parts, we will redraw the same. Okay, we will not change the all the remaining circuit here. Just remove this practical voltage source part and, and replace the practical voltage source part by practical current source part. Okay, like this, we will convert voltage source to current source. And here we will find out the there is no change in the resistor value from here to here. Okay, uh, here we will find out the current I by using the Ohm's law I is equal to V by R. V value is 10 and R value is 2. 5 amperes we will get. Okay, simply practical current source is one voltage source that is connected in series with the resistor and how the practical current source will be one current source that is connected in parallel with the resistor. Okay, this is about the voltage source to current source. Now, let's see how to calculate the current source to voltage source here. So, this is the current source. The, Okay, so this is the source, current source, which is having one resistor and the remaining, this is the remaining circuit. This dotted part in the form of practical current source. Okay, if the circuit is like this, we will convert first practical current source to practical voltage source here. So see here, I am removing this dotted part, I am replacing the dotted part by practical voltage source and the remaining circuit is as it is. Okay, like this, we will convert practical current source to practical voltage source. Okay, that is current source to voltage source simply. Okay, now how, how we got this uh, 10 volts and this 2 ohms? So already we have seen from one so if we convert it to one source to other source, there is no change in the resistor value here. This resistor value is same. Okay, how we will get this 10 volt resistor by using simple ohms law. V is equal to I into R. What is the I value here? I value is 5 amperes and the resistor value is 2. Okay, V is equal to 10 volts we got. So that's why here 10 volts, we are placing the 10 volts here. Now, if you see one circuit here, the question is find the current passing through the 5 ohm resistor. 
okay for this type of problem we can use uh, we have many methods uh, we can use any one of the method here for this particular problem i am using source transformation technique because our topic is source transformation technique that's why i am using by using source transformation technique how to find the current passing through this 5 ohm resistor we will discuss now now first uh, first i am converting this practical this here this one current source that is connected in parallel with the resistor this is in the form of practical current source okay if the, if the uh, if the, if the circuit is in the practical current source form, I am replacing this part, only this part by practical voltage source. Okay. I am replacing this part by, uh, this is the practical voltage source form. Okay. How this two ohm resistor is as it is from year to year. Okay. How to get 20 volts here by using a ohms law. So V is equal to I into R. What is I value here? 10. And what is R value here? 2. So like this, we will get voltage V is equal to 20 volts. Okay, this is a 20 volts here. Next, if we got, uh, after getting the 20 volts here, now we will find the current passing through this 5 ohm resistor. Simply these two are connected in series and one voltage source. By using ohms law, we can find out the current passing through the 5 ohm resistor here. I is equal to V by R. What is the V value here? 20 volts. What is the R value here? 5 plus 2, both are connected in series. So, 7 ohms. So, if we calculate this, we will get 2.8 by amperes. The current passing through the 5 ohm resistor is 2.8 by amperes. Like this, we will use source transformation technique. By using source transformation technique, we will simplify the circuit. Okay, simple. Converting one source to other source is called a source transformation technique. Here, if the circuit is in practical current source form, we will convert simply practical current source into practical voltage source. But resistor value is same. We will we will get the voltage by using the ohms law. After getting this source, and we can find out easily whatever the required quantity. This is about the source transformation technique. 